Who is going to take victory here at Road Atlanta? It is Subaru versus Mercedes versus Audi towards the front. A very, very fast Scion down the straights might be able to make some uh, an impressive start. Might be very, very difficult to pass. A Volvo is running right up towards the front of the pack as well, potentially. Can any cars that uh, have uh, struggled in qualify? Will anybody make massive improvements in the race? And let's not forget, Muri Subaru is down at the back, having not qualified. So here is our grid. HCR Espion will lead them away with the Subaru in second place. Jamjar Hastings in the Mercedes. Just a tenth of a second separated these two in qualifying. And only a tenth further back, F1 Kieran in the first of the Audi S3s. Fourth, we find another Subaru of a Static Sheep ahead of fifth place. The second of the Mercedes Yami here in sixth place. An outstanding performance from Language in the Volvo. That car not expected to be quick at Road Atlanta, but sixth is certainly not too bad going. Seventh, Timid Ninetales in the Scion TC. As I said, monstrous down the straight, a handful through the corners. The complete opposite of Stephen Magnet's Scirocco, sorry, in eighth place. Very, very good through the corners, that car. The Lexus of CQR Miles is in ninth place. The one and only BMW of Hordes that ended up on his roof in qualifying is in tenth. A random demon in 11th with the first of the Civics, ahead of the highest place Renault of EVR Invisible AK. We have our lonely Alfa Romeo in 13th of Shaq. In 14th, we have another one of the Scions of Aaron McGrath. We have lowest place Mercedes back in 15th place of Zars. Look for that car cutting its way through the order alongside the 16th place Honda Civic of Blazer, our lonely Voxel Astra in 17th of GTR, Aston ahead of the first of the, uh, the Polestar Volvos of uh, Stevie, uh, a little bit further back we have the second of the Audis, not a great qualifying session from uh, Der Integra down in 19th place, in 20th we have a Reg Liska with the Lexus 21st the second of the uh, Renaults so please don't eat me, in 22nd the Volvo S60 of the Creator, and right at the back look for PTG Murray cutting through the field having not qualified that uh, Imprezza is likely to be very quick indeed right let's get this race off and underway we are currently following the Alfa Romeo let's get to the leader as uh, everything is about to kick off in this first round a brilliant brilliant start from the Volvo we saw got a fantastic launch in that S60 looks like the Subaru is going to lead them away up towards turn one Mercedes is having a look in fact the Subaru Impreza a sheep is up into third place the Audi has been shuffled back a little bit to fourth he's gonna be on the inside they're gonna go side by side up towards the top of the hill the scion thinking better of that a brilliant brilliant start from uh, espion here already managed to make just a little bit of a gap back to the vehicles behind already pull that's a very very big close-up of the mercedes ahead as the subaru is looking for a way past the audi is uh, also not had the greatest of uh, starts only lost one place though in all of that as we head down towards the top of the circuit will the audi have a look up the inside oh he thought about it there was a sniff the subaru very very late on the brakes but he's gonna run a smidge wide that's going to give the Audi an opportunity big opportunity for the Audi is sure enough Sheep's Impreza is out a little bit too wide there and uh, I thought he's going to lose the place that Impreza got fantastic drive on the outside of the corner great great run from the Subaru the Audi not quite able to live with it and here comes the Scion that Scion's crazy crazy top speed as we run down towards the chicane for the first time, will the Scion have a go up the inside? I am not quite sure he thought about it. He couldn't do it. Too many cars as the Audi is looking around the outside. That is an incredible pass from the S3. Is he going to hold it, though? On the exit, the Impreza has got such good drive up the hill already. The front two are starting to make a break. And the more these cars fight, the tougher it's going to be for any of them to catch. And still they go side by side around that final corner. It is Kieran's Audi to the inside of turn one. <laughs> Subaru has been so mighty off of the turns will it continue to be i don't think it's got the legs here i don't think it's got the speed up the hill to continue that fight right now as we crest that hill yep the audi up into a third place subaru having to settle for fourth for now the mercedes is coming in perhaps i likely to fight back i think the subaru the quicker car perhaps in a straight line as well down that long long back straight may be able to uh, do something here we shall go and have a, a look through the field a little bit more, see what's happening 
for the uh, lower parts of the top 10. Derrantegra has made a brilliant start up into 12th place already as he fights with the uh, Scion TC up towards the top of the circuit. In this championship, points will be going down to 12th place here. So this is kind of the battle for the uh, the current last, well, the, the last points playing position for getting to try to get some higher points from that uh, from that Audi. It's going to be a, long, a, a tough race to try and uh, find a way past down that long, long straight. The Audi's going to have to make up some time through the corners if he wants to be catching the uh, Scion. Uh, PTG Muri, as I said, one to look out for. Uh, judging by the uh, slight battle scars on the front of his car, we had a couple of bumps at the opening stages of this race. Has made his way up into 17th place. Is up ahead. The uh, Volvo and Renault Megane are fighting for position. It looks like we may have a uh, couple of uh, broken cars in this one potentially involved in uh, involved in incidents. It looks like the BMW is not having a good round one. That is a poorly poorly looking BMW uh, over there. That is uh, that's a shame. It did well in qualifying to claw its way into the uh, top 10 but uh, yeah, BMW and the Vauxhall are looking like they have seen far better days. I also think CQR Miles' Lexus has uh, not fared well. They've all dropped down the uh, down the order this mid pack actually starting to spread out quite quickly not as we would be uh, expecting from this the run again up in eighth place uh, which is uh, not too uh, not too bad at all actually for the uh, for them again we have had a uh, little bit of a change of order. Yami's Mercedes has uh, been dropping down the field as we've got a bit of a laggy Volvo going on. Yeah, Yami's Mercedes was fighting up towards the front, quite possibly had an off. It is very easy to do here at, uh, at Road Atlanta. Just run that smidge wide, put a wheel on the grass somewhere, and uh, cart your car across the grass and lose a whole heap of time. It's uh, an easy mistake to make. Uh, Blazers Civic is also moving slowly around the track, which will not be <laughs> not be helping the cause of the Honda a shame I'd love to see the Hondas uh, manage to pull one out of the bag here but uh, not looking like it is going to be a particularly oh we got some hydraulics going on with the Volvo it is going boingy boingy around that uh, <laughs> penultimate corner uh, it's quite easy to see cars fired into the tyre bundle here at uh, Road Atlanta especially on the final corner top of the hill is also a uh, notoriously dangerous spot if you jump too much on the inside to the front of the field. It's less than a second separating the leader in the Subaru Impreza from Jamjar's Mercedes. It's one of those tantalizingly irritating gaps where you are close. You know, you can, you, you are not quite within striking range, but you're close enough to uh, be seeing opportunities, seeing prospects, but you are not quite able to get that uh, that little bit a uh, little bit further. We've also got a small revolt going on against Mubot. Leave Mubot alone. Mubot is doing a good job. I hope. Uh <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, in, in all of this, we got distracted by a uh, small Moobot revelation. The top four are starting to pull away. Jamjar did a 30.2 lap time the previous time around. You can see why Yari lost all of his time at 33. Not a great lap time from that car. The Scirocco did a 30.3 on his uh, previous lap. That is some pace from uh, from Stephen Magna. Yeah, we're talking qualifying lap times here going on. In fact, the Scirocco is closing. It is closing up towards the back of the McGann. This, the fight for eighth place. In fact, it looks like Yami has found a way past the Volvo, out dragged the Volvo down that uh, long main straight. The Scion uh, up into 10th place against the Alfa Romeo by the looks of things. A little bit of a slide from the Scirocco. For those of you that are wondering about these vehicles, they're all being converted to rear wheel drive so everybody is running the uh, same driveline Scirocco lost a little bit of time from the or off the back of the Renault Renault very very fast through that final chicane this lap around although the Renault did look a little bit wide through turn one has uh, got away with it and uh, that corner you can get away it's a very fast turn one here at uh, Road Atlanta there's a few tires there are a few tires littering in the track at the top of the hill which makes me it makes me think suggests that uh, someone may well have uh, taken a trip as a, uh, it could be lag to be fair with the way that the uh, Forza replays work it could well be some lag that uh, also will see tire bundles uh, disturbed we have seen a little bit of that going on the Scirocco it closes up through this sort of middle sector of the lap they're also closing up on the uh, the Volvo of language who has not had uh, a good lap this time around admittedly perhaps not hugely helped by the uh, by the lag we can see scrolling through the ticket at the top uh, invisible AK one of the best movers through the field although not as good 
good as uh, De Integra in the Audi. A poor qualifying session from Integra saw him down towards the back of the uh, field, but has mo moved his way up from, I think, 17th place on the grid all the way up into 12th. Now, in this championship, we have a reverse grid for race number two. The top 10 will get reversed. It looks like the Megan has uh, found a way past the uh, the Volvo. The Megan very, very sideways out of uh, very sideways out of that corner. Has he managed to hold on to that position? It looks like he will do, though. Looks like the Volvo is uh, trying to go around the outside. It's going to be a cutback from the S60 of uh, language. That Volvo starting in a sixth place. Lost a couple of positions at the start of this race. Oh dear. That's going to be the Renault off into the grass and unfortunately, well, we all witnessed a very, very unfortunate lag bump. It is the way of, uh, of online racing games as sadly as much as we try to uh, to minimise that. Just the tidiest, the tidiest of touches, just the tidiest bits of lag can cause issues. The poor Megan has been dropped down to 12th place. We still do have plenty of race to go. There is still plenty of race to go here to try and uh, rectify that, to try and work your way back up through the order. I mean, the Megan has uh, fallen, has lost a couple of places, or lost three or four places, but he's uh, yeah, not too far away from that uh, all-important top ten. Looks like we have a bit of a move going on further up. Yami and uh, Tim and Ninetales are battling for position. Mercedes versus Scion down the main straight we go. The Scion is uh, always going to win that fight. The Mercedes is not bad though. Mercedes is still pretty damn quick down these straights. He might be able to uh, hold it on the inside. No, the side's going to come across. Go as defensive as he dare into this chicane and he can't stop it. The Scion cannot get it stopped into that chicane. Takes a trip across the gravel trap, across the grass and he is going to lose that position to the Mercedes. Yami recovering back up to to fifth place as we round that uh, final corner. We're going to have a quick look again further down the field to uh, see what we have got going on here. PTG Murray started from the very back of the field. As you can see, a few battle scars on the Subaru. Moved his way up into 14th place, though, which is uh, not too bad going at all with that vehicle. Still outside of the points, but there is always there is always chances later on in the race. Always potential for chances later on in in the race. The two Volvos currently sitting around in 16th and 17th place, not too far behind the uh, independent Lexus of uh, Rare Glisco. Uh, we have got, there is some uh, squabbling going on with 7th uh, place. Looks like the biggest battle on track at the moment. Tim and Ninetales in the Scion struggling a little bit at this latter stage of the race. That off onto the grass proving uh, perhaps a little bit costly. He's fallen uh, yeah, a fair way back and now he's going to get embroiled in battles, although can and run away down the long main straight here while uh, language has got a uh, Scirocco and a, <laughs> the second of the Scions in fact uh, looks like Aaron is going to come so buzz yeah he's clear of the Scirocco may even get on the tail of the Volvo before we come down towards this uh, this chicane he is going to fire it up the inside maybe can he get it stopped he will get it stopped not close enough to have a, a big big lunge isn't going to work there but he's got to be mindful of the Volkswagen it is so fast through the corners is the uh, Scirocco. When you find yourself in uh, this particular scenario, I think the Scirocco might have peeled off into the pits. I'm not sure. Indeed, it has. The Scirocco <laughs> opted to go in the pits. I don't know if he sustained damage. Possibly sustained some damage with a slightly laggy Volvo, or he might have pitted. I would think it unlikely, but might have pitted for tyres. You see, the uh, tyre wear on these vehicles is relatively high. Now, not high like drag tyre wear. Uh, by the end of the race, they are going to be, yeah, feeling considerably second hand but uh, I would be surprised to see a car come to the pits for for tyres alone I imagine there may have been a little bit of lag damage potentially to the likes of uh, of brakes uh, that would be the big concern you have, have damage to brakes trying to get your car stopped is a very very scary affair looks like the closest cars on track currently are the uh, Scion of uh, Tibet Ninetales versus uh, Language those of you supporting the Renaults will be uh, very pleased to know that uh, Invisible AK has moved himself up into the top 10 having surpassed the uh, Audi of uh, Der Integra that will be pole position for the second race if it stays like this I am uh, not so sure it is going to uh, <laughs> to be staying like this for, uh, for the entirety of the rest of the race. But uh, there we go. As we see, 
the information on the ticker. It looks like we have got uh, uh, potentially some quite close goings on here between the Volvo and the uh, Lexus. Also, it looks like the gap is closed up at the front. Just notice that, of course, we've got to focus on the uh, leaders of this race. Indeed, it has. The pressure is going to a very, very much beyond in the uh, Subaru. And perhaps the Mercedes has been flying, obviously, the last couple of laps to catch up to the back of that uh, Impreza. The Audi is not out of it yet as the Subaru in fourth. You just catch it in the background, getting a very, very big slide on its uh, way down the uh, down the hill. The, uh, yeah, so Subarus were looking fast, looking very fast indeed in qualifying. They have led for a substantial amount of that. It's led from the off pretty much, but could the tyres be starting to fade on that car? Perhaps he made a slight mistake. That's all it takes. A small mistake here. Run wide on to the grass. And uh, you can easily lose a few tenths here and there. You can easily lose a lot more if you get things slightly wrong. The Mercedes will be enjoying a lovely, lovely tow all the way down <laughs> this uh, main start finish line. Looks like things are going to start getting quite interesting for 9th, 10th and 11th, potentially all around that area. We're jumping on the brakes into the uh, chicane once more not quite close enough for the Mercedes it might take him a couple more laps it might take him a couple more laps but you see as soon as these guys start fighting as soon as you start dicing for position as soon as the Impreza has to go defensive as soon as the uh, Mercedes is starting attacking you're going to slow each other down and that can be by a considerable amount a lap you know we're talking a second second and a half even a lap Subaru running right out to the curb that is about as close as you can get without getting into a trouble right there yeah if you're losing a second a lap second and a half a lap and the Audi is running in clean air he will catch up to this in no time I mean it'll be a lap pretty much and that Audi maybe two laps uh, the Audi will be right there looks like fourth place has just dropped off the back ever so slightly Mercedes was very quick it is closer than ever now as we head up towards the top of the course Slub Subaru was slow off of that corner will go defensive but you take that defensive line you can often be a little bit too tight to the apex it can be slow on the exit and now the dice begins the Mercedes is having a look it's not quite far enough alongside as they give each other just enough space there is just enough there is a car width there between the pair of them down the back straight we go once more the Mercedes is going to be sitting right in that slipstream although not an ideal run the Mercedes had a dive but couldn't really pull it off and in doing that you got to make yourself a little bit slow coming on to this uh, back straight <laughs> however slipstream will keep you right there Subaru once more going very very defensive in to that final chicane Mercedes is going to be quick off it Subaru sliding lights up the rear tires as he tries to get the power down and the Mercedes is going to get to the inside of the final corner it is the Mercedes to the lead but it's not all done yet the Impreza looks to fire back immediately up the inside into turn one it's not a big braking zone he's still going to have a go as they run side by side not really able or is he maybe maybe with that drive of the Impreza able to draw alongside can't quite do it as they run up towards the top of the hill although mega fast mega mega fast across the top of the uh, hill there uh, nowhere to go though it's so difficult to pass down the S's you really have to have a mega run and look how fast the Audi is catching them this is exactly what I said as there's a little bit of a bump between the uh, pair of them the Mercedes gets fired across the curb I said it would take a lap and it has a lap of fighting and now the Audi is right there in the mix as we head up the top of the circuit who is going to prevail between these three vehicles? It is Mercedes of Jam Jar Hastings against the Subaru of SBN and Kieran's Audi in third place. The Audi struggling a little bit with the straight line speed, but the S3 so fast, so very fast through the corners that it can make up the uh, lap time. And the, the Audi is going to need these lead two, I think, to fight a little bit more. The S3 might have been a little bit uh, a little bit sliding, a little bit out of control on the way onto that straight as he is a bit further back than he would ideally like. The Sadie's a little bit wide at the chicane. Here comes the Impreza as we run up the hill towards the final corner. Will he have a dive? No. Thinks better of it. Focuses on getting a smooth run through here. Neither of the cars are sliding. Oh! The Mercedes hit the curb and is being spat sideways. I think he kept it out of the wall. He is going to, he has indeed kept it out of the wall. He's going to be on the inside again, though. They're slowing each other down. And the more that they do this, the more that they slow each other down, the more that it helps the Audi. Audi will run up towards the top of the hill. The Audi a little bit too far back at this moment in time. It is absolutely nose to tail here 
for the victory. <laughs> We've still got three, four laps to go. That's not where you want to be in the Subaru. Do a little bit of mowing the grass on the way down the hill. Once more, the Audi is right there. Subaru thinks about trying to get to the inside, but uh, can't quite do it. I think you may give the Mercedes again a small nudge through there. It's really compromised the Impreza. The Subaru lost uh, a lot of speed down there. I think the Audi probably had to check up as well to avoid running into the back of that uh, Subaru. And the Impreza's on the grass. The Audi's going to jump up in to a second place. That is not what the Subaru needed. Again, a big slide from the Impreza. Maybe the Subaru's tires is on the grass. More grass cutting from uh, from Espion right there. That is not what the Impreza's needed. That is not what the Impreza's needed at all. And he's about to come under threat for that uh, podium position as Sheep's uh, Subaru is flying flying down the back straight again with nose to tail towards that uh, final chicane is he going to have a dive no the white car will go defensive down into that chicane will keep the, uh, the black subaru at bay now they're likely to start fighting and that could benefit the audi and these two subarus start battling for position again as i said you lose so much time you lose so much time fighting one another for that, uh, that position, that it could well help the Audi get away, could well help the Jamjar as well at the front run away with victory. Although it does look like Espion has got a little bit of speed over Sheep here, potentially, although there is, as I said, there's not, not much to choose between them at the moment. Sheep not close enough to have a look up the inside at uh, any point around this lap, although that Subaru is, the Subaru is sliding all over the place. I wonder if he's burnt up his rear tyres. I wonder if he has any tyres left at all at the back of that car as the Audi is uh, in a little bit, a little, little bit of a sliding, but nowhere near as much trouble as the Impreza here is, uh, is struggling. We will go and have a look, see how the rest of the field is doing while they are not quite nose to tail at this precise moment in time. Looks like Language's Volvo has worked his way back up into a relatively lonely sixth place ahead of the pair of Scions. In fact, Aaron has moved his way up into seventh place, although <laughs> may not be long before that is coming under threat from uh, nine tails behind. The Alfa Romeo is clinging on in the top ten. Well done to uh, Shaq with that uh, Julietta. Good to see the Alfa Romeo doing well. I think there's been a fairly titanic there is a fairly titanic battle going on here for 10th place look at this group. PTG Murray has joined in on the action uh, also please don't eat me. Uh, Renault has caught up to this group this is going to be a hell of a grandstand finish this is for the final points paying position as well. This is 11th, 12th 13th place so these positions really do matter. Murray all the way from the back of the grid in that Impreza is uh, going to get alongside the Audi. It's a long long way around it is a long way around the uh, Audi right there into the chicane. It's a lovely cutback from the Impreza, but the Audi's still going to find himself on the inside. It doesn't matter. The Subaru gets a mega, mega run off of the corner. He will take the position. The Megane will get past as well. I think the Audi may have cooked its tyres. Either that or it has suffered damage. That has peeled into the pits. Muri is up into 11th place. Can he catch? Can he catch the AK? The Subaru ends up on the front row, uh, on, the, on the pole for the next race. And then that could be an interesting prospect, although the Subaru is very slow off of that corner. Uh, <laughs> Renault pretty much ran over it there. So uh, it is, yeah, certainly not all done further, further back. How are we doing? towards the top three. It is all getting close. I think Jamjar has checked out of this race. Jamjar Hastings is uh, long, long gone at the front of the field. Has managed to uh, yeah, work his way up there and now there is going to be the fight for second place. The Audi perhaps not quite having the pace here at Road Atlanta is now coming under huge, huge pressure from that Impreza. The Audi will go defensive though. Down into the chicane. They bump the Subaru moved across a little bit under braking I think there for the uh, for the Audi, they are all going to run nose to tail on the uh, exit up the hill. The Audi is oh, there's been the con contact I think between the Audi and the uh, Subaru in fourth place. The Audi uh, pointing back with the Subaru on the grass as well. It's all got a little bit wrong. I think Yami's Mercedes has moved up into third place. The poor Audi having to dive into the pit lane with I think some damage done on that car. Oh, that's a disappointment. The Audi was doing so very well in this race. It is a real shame to have seen it end like that. That does promote, amazingly, the Volvo all the way up into fifth place. On a track that the Volvo was always likely, or we were always expecting the Volvo to be struggling for, uh, for speed around this track. 
it has uh, moved itself all the way up into a uh, into a fifth place. Uh, any kind of steward inquiry that are going on uh, for, for any of the incidents will be done after the race, simply because I've only got access to the live camera that will not necessarily be pointing at the right place. So, <laughs> yeah, nothing will be done as <laughs> Shaq runs a bit too wide in the Alfa Romeo. The uh, top 10, and it is now PTG Muri. As I said, the Subaru has found himself in 10th place, and that could be very, very useful, as we are, I believe, on the final, final lap. Jamjar Hastings, it looks like, is going to take victory here in the Mercedes. Qualified from second on the grid. Did not get off to the best of starts. However, it is going to be the Mercedes that claims victory ahead of the Subaru of HCR Espion. The uh, Mercedes in third of Yami here gets a little bit lucky. Unfortunate collision uh, between uh, Static Sheep and Kieran's Audi. Not quite sure what went on. We didn't quite catch it. We only saw the tail end of it. We'll, uh, yeah, dump Kieran, unfortunately, down the order. Very close between the two Scions. Aaron just holding off nine tails to get that position. A good drive from the Alfa Romeo to claim eighth. It looks like Muri is going to be starting on pole position for the reverse grid race. Just managing to hold off, uh, please don't eat me, in the remaining Renault. It's a disappointment. It is a real, real shame for F1 Kieran in that Audi. Was uh, doing, well, was doing a podium position, fighting right up there, but a small bump at an inopportune moment. It can happen in touring cars. Would dump the S3 all the way down to 14th place. That is going to be a tough, a tough order in the uh, next round. Der Integra also, the second of the Audis, uh, got in trouble at some point as well, down in to 16th place. Not a good day. Not a good day for the Audi. Showed great pace, but uh, yeah, just a little bit unfortunate in the race. That's the way that touring car action can go sometimes. And there were an assortment of vehicles, uh, broken vehicles, in various positions uh, around the around the track that uh, had uh, had had to take trips to the pit lane. Uh, what is BMW has not had a good day here whatsoever. Well, that was an exciting, exciting race. That was a brilliant, brilliant race. A little bit of a shame that uh, a couple of collisions towards the end of the event. But there we go. We will take a uh, quick five minutes, five minute break. I'm going to grab a drink. Uh, the drivers are probably going to want to go to the loo and uh, potentially, potentially grab a drink as well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was that was a hell of a, a hell of a race. Uh, if anyone does actually, is it going to show me? It might actually now show me the results correctly. It will. Fantastic. So we can sort the uh, the reverse grid out. Yeah, we're just going to take a very, very quick break here. At uh, <laughs> Jam ran out of fuel, apparently, we are hearing. Newsflash, the Mercedes died on the final corner, managed to coast its way across the line. That is a hell of a finish. <laughs> That is a hell of a finish, and I believe we also had one of the Civics disconnecting. Oh, yeah, the fuel is tight, the tyres are tight, uh, everything is exciting here at uh, Road Atlanta. I do have a uh, sneaky, sneaky suspicion that uh, the certain Subaru is going to run off at the front. PTG Murray will start on pole with a very, very quick car. Uh, we have to start from the back of the grid in a race one. Made his way up to 10th place and uh, will now have pole position. Alongside him is the uh, Renault McGann of uh, Invisible AK. Dad, a good race, good round one to uh, score some decent points. Behind him in third, the Alfa Romeo of Shaq. A bit of a lonely race for the Alfa, but still solid points and a good grid spot for this race. The two Scions, the amazingly fast Scions of uh, Tim and Ninetales in fourth, ahead of uh, Aaron's in fifth. Handful through the corners, but watch them when it comes to the main back straight. Difficult to overtake, potentially. Static Sheep will start in sixth place with the Subaru Impreza. It was on for a podium until a little bit of a tangle had 
cost him that one ahead of uh, Yami here with the Mercedes in uh, eighth place. We have got HCR Espion with the Subaru. Finished second, led for a lot of the opening race, however. Race one winner, Jamjar Hastings in ninth place with that uh, quick, quick Mercedes. Uh, please don't eat me in tenth with the Renault Megane. Of course, we had a little bit shuffled from uh, the Volvo that sadly couldn't make it to round two. Red Glisker's Lexus uh, did well, actually, to uh, get up the order. We'll start from 11th place ahead of the Volvo S60 of Stevie. F1 Kieran in the Audi got into trouble in race one, <laughs> ran out of fuel. Uh, Look for the S3 making its way up through the order. That thing has proved to be mighty, mighty fast. Steven Magnet in the Volkswagen is starting from 14th. Place ahead of uh, Der Integra's Audi in 15th. The Alexis of CQR Miles got uh, crash damage in race one, starting from that 16th place. 17th, Zars. Again, I believe may have got into some trouble with the fast Mercedes. Look for that moving up through the field. The Volvo of uh, the Creator will start from 18th place, ahead of uh, GTR Aston's Vauxhall. Uh, these are the cars that were quite heavily damaged in race one. The uh, Civic of Blazer from 20th place. We saw the uh, Vauxhall and we saw the BMW of Hordes limping their way around to the uh, pits. The BMW not had a good day so far. With the Honda Civic of a uh, random demon in 22nd. Engine problems in race one. Would I see him DNF? We are going to get this race off and underway. It is going to be PCG Murray from the pole position who will lead them away. Will the Subaru get to turn one first? It's a brilliant start from that Rally McGann. As uh, AK's McGann is potentially going to lead the Scion. It's got to fly and get away. It's going to be three wide into turn one. The Scion's think about it. The Alfa Romeo has lost ground in all of this as we go side by side through that first corner. The McGann had such a great run down into the first corner. He couldn't hold on to it as the Subaru will lead them up across the top of the hill for the first time. Dangerous, dangerous corner at the top of the hill. Looks like everybody has got through it cleanly this time around. Already the Subaru has got half a second lead, although a big, big twitch. That is not what you want on the opening lap. Gets away with it. Thankfully, there is no horrible tie bundles for you to be worrying about. Big slide <laughs> from a couple of cars further back. The Subaru not quite run away as far as you might expect, although that's, that off down the, uh, down the S is not helpful. Now watch for Timid Ninetales. Scion. Oh, <laughs> the McGann thought about it. The McGann thought about it. Static Sheep Subaru has done very, very well. It's already up into fourth place. There's a brilliant, brilliant start as well from that Subaru. The Scion on the grass. Here we go. Down this long, long straight here at Road Atlanta. The McGann is coming under fire from the Scion. The Scion will get past that before we get to the braking zone. The question is, will it be close enough to have a go at the Subaru? I think it will. That Subaru is going to have to go mega, mega defensive you don't want to be fighting with that side if you could help it oh Scion's got a win on the grass I think Scion's off yep he took a trip into the gravel trap rear wheel on the grass in the braking zone and that is what it will do to your car he has shuffled a long long way back in the field another good start from uh, HCR Espion second place in round one there's a big slide Scion's gone round on the final corner yep it is a uh, cold tyres Fast corner there. Oversteery cars can get into a lot of trouble. And that is a Scion. And two Scions dropped down the order at the very start of this race. As uh, Espion is now going to be looking for a way past Sheep in third. The Afro is clinging on to uh, fifth place at the moment. Ahead of the two Mercedes, Jam Jars made a decent enough start, but not able to quite make as much progress through the field as the uh, two Subarus. I think the Impressors are getting off the line very, very well. And that is uh, perhaps helping them out a little bit around here as we have a uh, couple of cars running wide. It looks like the uh, Audi of Kieran is up in to eighth place here. And uh, again, good good progress through the field for him. It's a uh, poor a poor start. The Scion's got such a good launch, but uh, have been shuffled back down the order as there's a little bit of lag going on. Uh, the the Renault, the second of the Renaults, please don't me, is up into the top ten, which is not too bad going whatsoever. It looks like there's a big old scrap going around towards that final points paying position at the moment. It is Azars with that Mercedes ahead of the Audi S3. The Lexus is uh, fighting the Honda Civic down this back straight. The Honda having a look to try and get to that inside. He might just get the move done here down into the final chicane. Looks like the Renault is having a good old fight against the Subaru as the Honda is going to fire up the inside of that uh, Lexus. Lexus is going to hold it around the outside there. Uh, we're always going to be able to wiggle on on the exit of that corner. Not sure the uh, 
Pacific is quite past as much as I was expecting. We're going to go too wide. We will go have a look at the front at the minute. This is fantastic stuff for 40. Place the Civic. Oh, they touch. They get away with it. Big, big wiggle from the Civic, but they have got away with that. It is all go now at the front of the race. As the McGann is doing a little bit of grass cutting, that's not where you want to be. He gets away with it. Millimeters to spare from the tie bundle. The Subaru is going to come flying past. He's going to get past by the other Subaru as well as they... Oh, there's a bump. They touch. The Subaru is going to go sideways. They catch it. Everybody got away with it. <laughs> just, just now here comes the Mercedes. Jamjar's Mercedes is coming as is Yami's Mercedes down towards the uh, top of the circuit. Just the tidiest of nicks. Just the smallest misjudgment from the McGann. And he's going to get swamped. The Alfa Romeo is right with this group as well. Espion's up into second. It is a Subaru 1-2-3 at this moment in time. How long is this going to last, though? How long is it going to last is just about anyone's guess as we fly down this long, long straight. It is a pretty evenly matched between all of these vehicles in terms of top speed. Will anyone be brave enough to have a go at the inside? Looks like the McGann might be having a try up the inside of that Mercedes. Will he be close enough or will he be defending? You've got to be wary of trying to defend from the car behind. Nobody can get anything done. We're in too much of a group to get anything done at this moment in time. You attack, <laughs> we get a nice close-up of the uh, Mercedes. Mercedes arse around the penultimate corner. Now through the final turn we go. Very quick corner. Very easy to slide the car through here if you are not quite ready for it. It looks like Kieran might be about to have a go up the inside of the Alfa Romeo. He's going to get the pass done. I would imagine on the run into the first corner, there is the smallest bit of lead, a big slide from the Audi out of turn one as we run up towards the top of the hill. Alfa Romeo, you can get a good run on the outside of turn one. We've seen it quite a few times now with uh, with cars able to uh, carry a lot of speed. The McGann's in trouble. The Audi's in trouble as well with big, big oversteer. McGann's going to lose a place to the Mercedes with that wiggle down the S's. Uh, the Audi got away with it, although he's still under threat a little bit from the Alfa Romeo as we head again up towards the top of the circuit here. Will the Audi be close enough to have a dive at the McGann? No, he is not. McGann busy fighting with that Mercedes up at the very front of the race. It uh, looks like Muri has fallen back into second place. I'm afraid we don't quite catch what uh, went on there, but uh, he has surrendered the lead to his teammate. Espion has taken the lead. Again, we saw the Subaru leading early on. It looks like, unfortunately, the poor Vauxhall is uh, not having a great day. That uh, Astra is uh, limping its way home over there. There's a little bit of juddering going on from the uh, from the Subaru. Yeah, not a great day for the uh, the poor Vauxhall. Well, trying to stop the uh, Subaru podium domination is uh, Jamjar's Mercedes made short work, uh, getting himself up to fourth place. Although not going to be so easy passing the cars further ahead. Sheep is going to go defensive into turn one. Although will he be slow on the exit? Oh. <laughs> That's the danger of trying to go around the outside. That is always, always the risk. The Mercedes is going to tour across the grass. Will rejoin. Loses a place in, uh, in that one. You've always got to be aware. Car on the inside may be struggling with, uh, with some understeer there. Well, the uh, Subarus are holding on for now. How much longer, though? I am not so sure. Let's go and have a little bit of a, a look further down as uh, the fight for the uh, final points paying position is uh, once again... Once again, <laughs> pretty vicious. Everybody is slithering, sliding their way through that uh, particular corner. It is the Scion of uh, Aaron McGrath that is holding on for now. Holding on for now. The other Scion of uh, Tim and Ninetales up in the 10th uh, place there. It's two wide. <laughs> almost three wide further back. The BMW having fared a bit better this time out is in the fight for... Well, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th as they all run down this back straight is drawn up alongside the Lexus, which is going to be faster down this long, long straight. They seem very, very evenly matched down here as we head towards the uh, chicane. It looks like the side is going to have a look at 11th. Not going to be able to do it. Integra's Audi might just get that uh, 13th place. Indeed, he will from the Civic as the... <laughs> Texas 
running a smidge wide here is going to come that BMW too wide in the final corner no Lexus thought better of it Lexus will uh, duck back into line can he get a mega run down towards the first corner they're all getting a good run on the Civic it's going to be three wide into turn one Lexus has a go at the inside it all gets a little bit squeezed they make it they make it alive you do not want to be three wide at the top of the hill guys you do not want to be three wide at the top of the hill and the Lexus or oh, Lexus will uh, get the BMW a little bit of a uh, brush through there. You've got to give more speed. You've got to be more space. Sorry, if you're stuck on the outside at the top of the hill, you've got to give a little bit more space to the cars on the uh, inside there. As we uh, head back to the front of the field, a little bit calmer here. Espion is pulling away from his, uh, well, from the two Subarus behind his teammates and the uh, privateer Subarus. The battle for the podium is looking like it is going to be hotting up and again. This is all helping the leader. The more these two fight over this second place, the more it helps Espion run away. The more it helps the two Mercedes as well. They have, yeah, had uh, a, li a little bit of a uh, little bit of misfortune, have fallen back a uh, smidge. However, they are going to be uh, catching quickly as, as Sheep and Muri are going to start vying for position here. The uh, yeah, two Mercedes, if they can work together, if the teammates can, can work together and not cost each other too much time, as they <laughs> say that, they're sliding out of the final corner. It looks like Sheep is going to have a big dive up the inside into turn one. Will he get the move done? The inside line into the first quarter has not really worked. Espion's got in trouble. The leader has got in trouble somewhere around that first quarter. He has lost a lot of time. Whether he uh, ran onto the grass, whether he got a big, big slide, whatever it is, he has fallen a, a fair way back. It is now going to be a very, very big train between this uh, group of leaders. It is Subaru leading Subaru, leading Subaru, leading two Mercedes, and an Audi is uh, very, very keen to join in the party. Here comes Murray, is he going to have a go up the inside at the top of the course? Not quite close enough. And of course, the teammates do not want to take each other out. They really cannot afford to take each other out here. Heading on to the long straight, it is six cars. It is a six car battle for the lead. The McGann of uh, AK is a little bit too far back to be joining in on this one. Espion got a better run down this long, long back straight. <laughs> the train wiggles its way to the inside. Sheep is coming under immense threat from the Mercedes. Mercedes behind it is Yami that is going to try and get himself onto the podium. Will he be able to hold it though? He gets across before they make it to the chicane. Oh, Sheep's in trouble. Sheep's on the grass. He's not going to stop that. The Subaru is going to tore the grass and that. Oh, and bump the <laughs> curse of the commentator once more has struck. Oh, the poor Subaru bumped the tire bundle and uh, that is the uh, Impreza. All the way down, falling all the way to 12th place. Might be able to recover and still score some uh, some decent points. But, uh, yeah, that is not what you want. We have also had... Oh, there's a Mercedes in the wall. I think Yami may have clipped the tyre bundle. I think he may have clipped the tyre bundle at the final corner. And that has dropped the Mercedes down the order. Well, it's all go. It is all go here. It is Jam Jar up into third place. It's a big slide goes with Muri. I think perhaps Yami and Kieran have got together. The uh, Audi has fallen down the order as well in all of this. So there has been, I think something went on at the final corner while we were watching Sheep get himself into a bit of trouble. It is now uh, Jamjar versus Muri. The big six car battle for the, uh, for the lead has... Uh, yeah, <laughs> has ended. Three cars have uh, got out. Will Jam be able to spoil the Subaru's party? I think it's going to be a bit of a tall order for that Mercedes to be able to overhaul the lead. Although all it takes is a little mistake. Here comes that uh, A-Class to the inside as we run into the uh, final chicane here. I think the Mercedes might be able to get it as long as he doesn't outbreak himself. Easily done. Very, very fast corner down at the end of the circuit. And indeed, the Mercedes will put himself clear of the Subaru. Well, we find ourselves very, very familiar, familiar scenario as it is the... <laughs> Mercedes, I say familiar scenario, after the uh, opening uh, opening race, it is Jamja Hastings trying to chase down uh, HCR Espion's uh, Subaru. I remember my cars. We have got a Renault are actually doing amazingly well here 
in the uh, second race. Uh, AK's Renault is in fourth ahead of uh, Please Don't Eat Me's in fifth. Although this fifth place may well be coming under some threat before we get to the end of the race because Scions and Alfa Romeos are on the hunt, although they may be too busy fighting one another here to uh, go after that Renault. The Scion coming under increasing threat. Here comes the Alfa Romeo. Great, great run out of that corner to draw alongside, but the Scion straight line speed is immense down towards the top of the circuit. We go once more. The Alfa Romeo is going to get it around the outside. Well done, Shaq. Well done indeed to get that pass completed. Mercedes thinks thinks about having a go up the inside, but is not quite able to do it. Sheep, by the way, up into the bottom half of the top 10. Just saw him go through short. <laughs> Here comes that Scion, and that is why the TC was not too worried about <laughs> fighting that position quite so hard. The straight line speed is immense in that car. As I, I keep saying, you know, you've got to remember, it is an absolute handful through the corners. However... <laughs> When you have that weapon in your arsenal, sometimes you can just about put up with it. The Alfa Romeo is going to close and continue to put pressure on him through the next couple of corners. Will the Alfa get to the inside? Not quite at the final turn. Might be a good place to do it with the Scion wiggling its way around that particular turn. For the uh, oh, trying to get into the top 10, it is again equally close as a Zars will have a go at the inside of yet another Scion. Will he make it stick? It's a good cutback actually from uh, Aaron there to get the position back. He will get it back before we reach the top of the hill. Brilliant cutback, almost textbook like cutback from the Scion, and now they are under threat. They are under big, big threat from the Impreza of a sheep recovering from his, uh, his off at uh, the bottom of the course. We're side by side. It's all oh, the <laughs> sheep eats the back of the Scion, loses it. Was a back of whichever car. I've slightly forgotten which one it was. Either way, sheep goes very, very sideways and loses a uh, heap of time. Yami had to take a trip through the pit lane with damage on that Mercedes. A very quick car has now found himself in a <laughs> battle. He's a lap down, but uh, is probably quicker than the cars ahead. His sheep has got to eat a little bit more grass. Yep, apparently the sheep is rather hungry around this circuit. What have we got down for the uh, final points paying position over here? We have got the, uh, the Civic of Demon. Looks like he's on a little bit of his own. There was a, in fact, a long way on his own. In fact, there was a big group of them at uh, around this position. But uh, yeah, not quite, uh, not quite together. So much, uh, so much more. Likewise, the Audi of uh, Kieran. I think yeah, a couple of cars would have got into trouble. Had to take trips through the pit lane that has dropped them down the order. Unfortunate, unfortunate indeed. But uh, that is what can happen when it comes to racing. So. Let's go and have a look through the order. It is uh, HCR Espion leading the way by some three seconds over Jamjar Hastings, and that might be a little bit too much of a tall order for the Mercedes to do a huge amount about. PTG Muri's Subaru is in third, started from pole, but not quite able to hold off the uh, charge at Espion and Jam. In fourth place, we have... Oh, that was run a bit wide, but uh, fourth place, we have the uh, Renault of Invisible AK. A great showing from that Renault. Fifth place is the second of the Renaults, although he is now under threat again. <laughs> Renaults both got in trouble at a pretty much the same corner at the same point in time, and now that McGann is coming under threat from the Scion of uh, Timid Ninetales. It looks like the Scion side is passed for now, and the Scion will run away when it comes to this straight it's how long it's how long it is going to be uh, to be able to to hold on when it gets to the corners as, as i said yeah, the scion is is not an easy car to drive they were towards the front but a couple of mistakes early on would have dropped them back oh there's a red on the grass how have we got off there <laughs> i'm not quite sure how we've got off on a straight but uh, there is a little crest at that point on the road now cars like these would unlikely be bothered by uh, by this one. It is uh, yeah, unlikely to see uh, these cars. I mean, it's not like very, very high powered uh, dodgy suspension muscle cars and so on will break sideways uh, quite willy nilly at that section but uh, <laughs> not quite sure how the Renault end up on the grass. Has lost a position and might lose a challenge uh, against that Scion now. is a little bit too far back uh, now but uh, there we go. Uh, there was looking like it was uh, quite close between Demon and Kieran. 
Uh, the gap not quite as close as I was uh, thinking, actually, between the pair of them. Yeah, they are uh, not had the uh, luckiest of races. In fact, there's a few more cars that have suffered damage around here. <laughs> there's a Civic missing some lights. Not been a great show, not been a great meeting for the uh, the Hondas here. As never likely to be their strongest of the uh, the circuits, but... Uh, not the great greatest, uh, not the great greatest, not the uh, the best of the uh, the grid spots will uh, often put you in trouble. If you are down the order, you can uh, often get uh, get into issues. Also, sad day for the poor Lexus's CQR Miles is uh, down in uh, towards the bottom of the field. Likewise with the uh, Voxels, uh, the lone Voxel as well. Uh, it's yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate, unfortunate indeed, uh, and we didn't quite catch what uh, happened to those poor cars, but as I said, that is, yeah, very much the way that, uh, that it can go. The closest of uh, races it looks like is going to be over that uh, fourth place. Sheep is uh, trying to claw his way back up through the order well, after a few rally cross incidents. He's up in ninth place chasing down the eighth positioned Scion. Might get a good run out of the final turn here. Will he have a go up the inside? No, the Scion will go defensive, although can it carry enough speed? That Subaru has been so mighty, and it is going to be mighty once again. Will he get it across in time? Yes, the Scion doesn't want to fight that battle. Uh, trying to dive up the inside at the top of the hill is uh, always, or can always end in uh, tears, especially when you're as far back as the uh, as the Scion was thinking the better idea let the uh, let the Subaru go you're still going to get some decent enough points for ninth place there uh, I think he's got a little bit of a margin back to the uh, Mercedes of Zars. I think the Hordes yeah Hordes BMW has made it up in two of the top ten at the front of the field I have just noticed the gap has closed up the gap has closed up indeed, with uh, Espion only 0.8 of a second ahead of uh, Jamjar's Mercedes. I think we might actually be on the final lap. Sometimes the lap counter, I've had issues with the uh, lap counter not quite uh, not quite showing the uh, the correct thing. So we will see if this is going to be the, uh, the final lap. It looks, though, like Espion is uh, going to be taking the uh, victory indeed he does it was close jamjar got to within 0.6 of a second but it wasn't enough ptg murray will finish uh, in third place it is going to be a great great show in for the mcgann's fourth and sixth here in race two the two renaults coming good the uh, second time of asking two and nine tails so a much better finish in this second race up in fifth looks like shacks alfa romeo the lone alfa romeo coming home in seventh what have we got further back? The final points paying position. It looks like it might go to the Lexus. No, it won't. <laughs> oh, well, he will he can limp it across the line. <laughs> well done. We saw that. <laughs> A twitchy steering and we bin the uh, Lexus into the wall. Congratulations. You still finished 12. You will get a point for... Uh, for that one. Or oh, is the uh, Audi of Kieran going to make up one position on the run to the line? He can't quite do it. The Honda is going to hold off for a 13th place ahead of the Audi in 14th. Oh, well. Well, well, well. There we go. And then we have, unfortunately, uh, a few of the uh, slightly more damaged cars. I think the highest place Volvo, yeah, is going to come home in 15th place. Bad luck for, for the Audis. They have not had, yeah, not had the greatest of luck here at uh, Road Atlanta. Yami here is also the second of the Mercedes. Quick in round one, good in round one, good finishing position. But uh, that is not going to be scoring any points with the uh, 17th place there. We will just have a final look at the race results once we get back into the lobby, just in case that, uh, just in case we see anything that uh, that we didn't in the actual things. There we go. That is the uh, race confirmation for uh, for now. There will be, of course, a look through replays and potentially some stewards' inquiries and adjustments for that, but. It is uh, HCR SB on Subaru that will take the uh, the victory. Well, I think performance of the day, I think, has got to uh, to go to the Renaults for that fourth and sixth place in round two. Good showing from 
the uh, Mercedes of Jam Jar, of course, the uh, Subaru of uh, Espion. They're going to be tied for points at the top of the uh, championship table. But uh, the Renault's holding on to that fourth and sixth place. Admittedly, perhaps helped it from some uh, shenanigans going on elsewhere in the uh, in the field, but still stayed out of trouble. They stayed out of trouble. They stayed clean. And uh, yeah, that is some very, very solid points for the Renault team. On to the championship standings, and it will be HCR Espion that takes the uh, lead for now ahead of Jamjar Jesus, while tied on points and tied on positions. I mean, both had a first and a second. Espion with the pole will have the tiebreak for now, although plenty of championship to go. PCG Muri in third place ahead of a Static Sheep. EVR Invisible, AK up in fifth with that uh, Renault. A good showing from that in race two ahead of Timid. Nine Tails is Scion. Yami here will uh, sit in seventh place. A good round one, but a big crash into the tyre bundles at the final corner. Here, Woods uh, seems scored no points in the second race. Ahead of uh, Aaron McGrath in eighth with the second of the Scions. Language in ninth with a Volvo. And please don't eat me with the second of the Renaults are rounding out the top 10. It is very close down the latter half of the uh, the table with Shaq also on 10 points in the Alfa Romeo. Again, those cars separated by our highest finishing positions. Uh, Zars would score uh, three points in the round or in the race two. Hawes, despite the BMW being upside down in qualifying in a terrible race one, would score a couple of points in that second race with that M2 and Reg Liska rounding out the uh, championship table uh, with uh, two 12th place finishes. On to the team's championship Championship and it is Team BRM Subaru that will lead the way. Only three points though ahead of the H2H Racing Mercedes. The Alpine Renault Works team in third. Ahead of the highest of the independents, the Subaru Cusco Advan Racing. That's certainly a mouthful. A car in fourth. DMAG Racing in fourth. Fifth, Bosch only had one car running this time out. Are in sixth, although you may well see them progress higher up through the order. Worlds Racing uh, with the Volvo in seventh, ahead of the Alphaholics in eighth. Jamsport dealer team in ninth. Wacko's Motorsport BMW again. There is a second car that uh, may make an appearance later on in tenth. And Crunchyroll Motorsports with the Lexus rounding out the team's championship. On to the manufacturers, and it was a good day for Subaru. They take the lead with 69 points over Mercedes with their 53. It's likely to be a uh, season-long battle between those two. Scion uh, in third place, just managing to uh, beat out the Renaults there. Volvo in fifth ahead of uh, Alfa Romeo, uh, then followed by BMW and Lexus. Audi were very unlucky. I have no doubt we will see Audi come it's much stronger at uh, later events. They may well be uh, challenging higher up the table. Likewise, Honda, Volkswagen and uh, Vauxhall were unlucky with uh, with damage and incidents throughout that uh, particular particular race, unfortunately. Something that uh, can happen with motorsport. That, though, is going to be it for round one. The second race is going to be taking place on uh, Sunday, the 11th of June. We are taking the cars to Laguna Seca. If you want to uh, watch that one live, then you can on my Twitch channel. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, it will be kicking off, as I said, at 7 p.m. With, uh, with qualifying. If not, don't fear. Much like this video will be uploaded to a YouTube, hopefully on the Monday evening. Also, if you are curious about the championship standings, there will be a link in the description with the uh, the complete tables and everything. Uh, it's all in a, a Google Google Sheet document. That's going to be it from me, though. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. <laughs>